Pokemon Breath of the Wild. With the reveal of Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet in Nintendo's two new trailers, we are shown glimpses of a brand new and massive open world region for Generation 9. Confirmed by the Pokemon Company, Scarlet and Violet will have freedom of exploration without barriers, and the ability to progress the story at your own pace in whatever order you decide. This is a revolutionary and exciting evolution for the Pokemon franchise, and a welcome change. Multiplayer with four friends in the same overworld? Who knows what all we'll be able to do together. Catch and battle wild Pokemon, double, triple, maybe free for all battles. Maybe we could challenge the Elite Four together. We'll also have our rideable Pokemon to traverse all the terrains, to climb mountains and soar in the skies to explore. So is this the first big step for Pokemon to become like Breath of the Wild? Well, yes and no. Sure, we're getting new features that are similar and are open world and third person RPG based, which is more than welcomed, but Pokemon isn't trying to be like Zelda. It, it doesn't want to be, it doesn't need to be. The core mechanics and gameplay are based on entirely different concepts. Pokemon's founded on turn-based battling and trading with friends while catching wild Pokemon and leveling them up and creating endless combinations of teams. Zelda is more of your classic hero saves princess RPG dungeoner with upgradable items and weapons. Its focus on an immersive world and in-depth lore really add to its brilliance. So with that said, all aboard the hype train for Scarlet and Violet dropping in November. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Take care, God bless.